going on social media hopefully you're having a good evening thanks for joining me my name is matt austin in the news six newsroom did you see it today did you see all the excitement did you see that fireball going up into the air with four sort of semi-regular people on top of it strapped to that thing pretty exciting day we watched it all happen here on news six i would love to show you the launch i don't know if you maybe missed it but I can pull it up for you right here. I'm going to share my screen and let's take a look at this thing. All we have to do is play it. and You can watch this big Falcon 9 rocket head up into space. This happened at 8.02 today. It's really a beautiful launch. The weather was pretty much perfect for it. Didn't have to worry about any storms or rain or wind along the flight path. Pretty exciting to watch as the crew just kind of freaked out every step of the way they hit max Q, uh, just every little step they were enjoying themselves. Always interesting also on this shot to see the astronauts. Well, I guess now they're astronauts, but they were just, just regular old folks. But there's a billionaire who basically bought this up and then three other people got sort of randomly chosen um, to join this. And it, it was just a fascinating thing to watch uh, for us today here on News 6. Very exciting. Um, did you guys get to see it? I'm, I'm curious. Nina, hey, good to see you tonight. How are you doing? Thanks for joining us. Hey, Danny. Um, you saw it from the Saturn V building. Very cool. Very cool. Um, we also have uh, David saying, hey, Matt, that was an awesome launch. I saw history in the making. This will go down in the history books. It most certainly will uh, go down as history where folks who just started training for this maybe seven months ago are now strapped on this thing and pulling those Gs just like the astronauts would. They're going to be up there for three days taking in the sights from space. So pretty exciting time. Uh, for those folks. Everything really went off without a hitch. Ellie's telling me she saw it. Listen there. I think you can hear that, right? Can you hear that? The cheering as it all went down. Ingram saying, awesome. It was just cool to see outside. I went outside to view this one tonight. It was great. Um, let me see here. Crystal saying, hey, do you, Matt, do you know when another one is going up so the grandbabies can see at night? I do not know off the top of my head, but there are quite a few of these launches going down uh, with SpaceX. They're going to be dropping back down in three days. Um, let me get that video queued back up for you. Actually, let's do, let's check out the chat here. I haven't used this feature quite yet. Um, so yeah, so I don't know exactly when this is going to, uh, why is this thing not working? I don't know exactly when the next launch will be. Um, the pulsating piece that separates from the craft. I'm not sure what the pulsating piece is, Tracy. I wish I wish I were a SpaceX uh, expert and could help you. One thing I can tell you that's different about this mission. So normally at the top, there's that nose cone and that piece connects to the International Space Station because they're usually going to the space station. Well, since this trip in particular isn't going there. This nose cone is going to sort of slide off to the side and it's going to reveal this glass bubble, which is going to give um, this view, this incredible view of space and earth to these civilians who are getting to go up there for three days. I would imagine they're going to have some fun um, with that. Kristen saying, good to watch from Edgewater. Tracy was in the Blue Haze trailer. Matt, thanks for posting this. My reminder alert didn't go off in this. I'm so sorry you missed it, Christie's, but I'm glad I got to show it to you. Um, so yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. I love a good launch. Normally I have to uh, be inside the studio and I miss the cool part where you get to like watch it actually go up. And uh, tonight, Ginger Gadsden was on the desk when it happened, so I, I got to get out and see it. So, uh, well, thank you guys for thank you guys for tuning in. We'll have all of the latest. On this, we've got Eric Von Anken out there live tonight. Uh, if you missed it and you kind of want to relive it with us tonight at 11 o'clock, News 6 has you covered, as we always do. We always have you covered. So thanks for watching this uh, little stream, and I hope that you will check us out tonight at 11 o'clock.